appreciate your truth and love for your faithfulness and your commitment to the things of God. But whenever my heart is moving towards gold, when it's moving towards that pure gold, the Bible says that there's going to be a correction. I don't know who it is I'm talking to, but I believe that God want to correct some things in your life. I believe that you've been going through for way too long. I believe that you've been struggling for way too long. But I believe that God is trying to turn some things around. Is there anybody here that's believing God? He's getting ready to turn some things around. Look at Malachi chapter 3 verse 11. Louis said, I will rebuke the devourer for your sake. Is there anybody in here? You trying to figure out how in the world you came out of what you was in. How in the world you made it out of what you was in. How in the world you had more money at the end of the month. You was able to pay all your bills and you still had a little bit left over. Can I tell you that God corrected some things. He said I will rebuke the devourer for your sake. Anybody ever been like me? You ran on four May Pops. All four of your tires look like they finna blow. Anybody had a Michelin on one side? Had a good year on the other side? And yeah, two for 25 from Phoenix on the other side. Y'all ain't gonna help me preach in here. Will the Lord let you keep on rolling because you took care of him? The Lord let you keep on driving because you took care of him? Anybody had one of those May Stars before? The way those May Stars to make you pray before you get in the car and say, Lord, let this thing crank. Lord, don't let this thing cut off. Lord, don't let this stuff um, overheat. Lord, no, y'all ain't never had no car like that. Anybody had a car like me where the windshield wipers didn't work? The windows didn't come down? The air didn't work? And when it rained, I look like a moving sauna. It's like a hot machine in there. And my little Chevy S10 pickup had to open up that little window in the back. Y'all ain't hear what I said. The windshield wipers didn't work. The windows didn't come down. The air didn't work. And when it rained, I had to open up the back window. I had to try to open the door to make sure I wasn't getting ready to hit a car. But the Lord let me keep on riding. Can I tell you, I'm not riding like that now. I'm riding a little bit better because when you take care of God, he'll take care of you. Is there anybody in here that had some fools go? But the Lord kept on making a way. The Lord kept on turning it around. Your baby went to school. You didn't have no scholarship. You didn't know how they was going to do it. But you sent them by faith. And the Lord keep on taking care of you. And the Lord not only take care of them, he take care of your babies. I heard I heard Malachi say, he said, the Lord will open up the window. He'll open up the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that you don't got room enough. Anybody in here, you don't got room enough to receive. I'll take that word. We don't got room. We don't got room enough to receive. So we got to knock this wall down because we don't got room. We got to push this wall back because we don't got room. We got to open up that door because we don't got room. Is there anybody in here that you don't got room in your house? So the Lord when you take care of him he'll add you got to build something else. He'll add you got to buy something else. He'll add when well, you don't got room room enough to receive. I heard I said I heard Paul say now one to him that is able to do exceeding. I don't know about y'all. I'm looking for an exceeding. I got seeds in the ground. I heard William McDowell say that rain is only a nuisance to people who don't got seeds in the ground. But I got seed in the ground. I've been sowing, 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 and look like I can see the rain is on the way. I heard Paul say he can do a seeding abundantly above all. 
I can ask or think according to the power that worketh in me. I got the power. I got it in me. I will overcome. I will break away. I will get the victory. I will come out. Somebody say, yeah. You ought to give your God some praise right there. On behalf of everyone at Truth and Love Ministries, we want to thank you for joining us for our virtual worship experience. We want to thank you for your likes and your shares, your comments and your emojis. But we also want to invite you to partner with us as we continue to be the hands and the feet of the Lord Jesus Christ. You do know that he told us that we ought to feed the hungry. We ought to clothe the naked and we ought to be the church. And you can help us to continue to do just that through your generosity and there are three easy safe and secure ways that you can do just that you can text the word t-i-l jacks one word t-i-l jacks to the number 77977 you can go to our website www.truthandlove.tv or you can go to the apple store or the google play store search for truth and love jacks download our app and you can give that way we thank you for your participation we thank you for your generosity and we love you and we'll see you next time here comes the church god bless you